Hello, this is Jeremy Schuback of the Photoshop Expert Series, episode 21. In this session, we are going to be taking 20 images of puppies and making them smaller and making them thumbnail size. So we'll be talking about how to automate <coughs> a single action and applying it to dozens or if you want, hundreds of options. So what we have is a picture of a puppy. Um, I should note right here, all of the pictures that I'm using were taken from the Flickr uh, Creative Commons pool by the following people. And I always appreciate when people uh, post their images as Creative Commons. It's great for things like this. Uh, I just needed a random assortment of images. And hey, why not use puppies? So the window that we want is uh, Window Actions, and this will allow us to automate something we do to a single image to many, many images. So I am going to uh, create a new action. So here we go. I'm going to create the new action button. It looks like that. Uh, and I'm going to call it uh, Crop Fun. Name doesn't really matter so much. Uh, then I'm going to go into my Crop Tool, and I'm going to set its width to 600 pixels. So um, <laughs> there we go, 600 pixels. You notice that right here in the options bar, I set it to 600 pixels. This will make it so whenever I crop anything, I can do it to whatever size I want, but the width is always going to be 600 pixels. So I'm going to say OK, and I am going to now uh, go into uh, 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 Save for Web and Devices. So that is mash the keys and then press S. Control, Alt, Shift, and then press S. And that will save it for Web and Devices. Um, if I wanted, I could cancel out of this and do something such as go into filter, uh, sharpen, say sharpen, you know, just kind of sharpen it a little bit. Or, you know, let's maybe I want all of my images to be black and white. I don't want that. I'm not going to do that. Maybe I want to do an auto level. So control shift L. Um, I'll talk about colors more later. And, uh, you know, that does an auto levels. doesn't do too much in this case. Uh, and then I'm just going to go to uh, save for web and devices. I'm going to press save. I am not going to touch the file name. If I do that, each um, file will write over the previous file because they'll all rename themselves to the same thing. So I'm just going to keep the file name the same and go uh, into saving it for web. Uh, we can always rename these files later. So I'm just going to press save and I am going to close out of this. I am going to not save this. So we already have it saved for web devices. And then I'm going to hit stop. So again, the steps were uh, create a new action, do everything you want to do, and then when you're done, hit stop. So look at what happened. We have a uh, action that's called crop fun, and then we have the various things. So um, in crop, where it's going to crop to a rectangle, it's going to be 104 pixels from the top, 30 pixels from the left, and then this kind of shows uh, how big it is. Yeah, there's a lot of different options here. Let's just see what happens when we run this on an entire folder. Um, so I could just open up a single image. This one's by uh, Donna Grayson. And I could just uh, click crop fine and press uh, the play button. And what we would end up getting is in this web folder, we now have uh, two images, one that looks like this, one that looks like this. Not exactly the greatest thumbnail, um, not exactly cropped how I wanted. Actually, testing it on this one shows me that's not really what I want to do. So I'm going to actually get, get out of this folder. I'm going to uh, go into this. I'm going to select both of these, and I'm going to go into the crop tool again. So the reason that didn't create what I wanted to do is because uh, crop tool is something that involves us clicking and dragging, and uh, actions get a little weird when there's something that's involved clicking inside of the interface. And what happened was uh, the second image we went to was this 5 megabyte uh, image, which was many pixels across as opposed to the first one, which was only like, I don't know, a, a few hundred pixels across. Um, and because of that, it only grabbed this area up here because it was going 10 pixels from the top and 30 pixels from the, the left. And then it was going to a certain dimension. And if the uh, image was smaller, that would mean it would get all of this. But because it was bigger, got all of that. Did that make sense? Tell me in the comments. And if it didn't, I'll write a little piece in the comments, and that will be good. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new action. I'm going to call this crop for real. Uh, and I'm going to go into image size, so control alt i to get into image size, or you can go into image, image size, and get to it here if you want to do it that way. And then I'm going to set its width equal to 600 pixels, uh, which wasn't particularly good. Let's go into there uh, again. I, I didn't have constrained proportions checked, so that's something you want to have right there. Uh, so 600 pixels, and now I'm going to press OK. Uh, now, I want you to notice something. Inside of the actions, we have image size gone into twice. If you make a mistake and you step back in the history, 
your action is going to mess up. So actions are very sensitive. Make sure to get it right the first time. So again, I'm going to cancel out of this in this uh, gallery of showing you uh, wrong ways of doing actions. Uh, and then I'm going to do it one more time. So let's uh, go back to where it was. And let's do new action. Um, croppers. I don't even care. Uh, image size, 600. Uh, then I'm going to save for web and devices. I'm going to press save. Uh, and this will this looks good. It's saving to the web. Uh, and then I'm going to go into this one more time. Uh, this time I am going to go in and I'm going to do uh, 60 pixels by 60 pixels inside of the uh, crop options bar. And I am going to just uh, create a uh, thumbnail and I am going to save this again, save and create a new folder so you don't overwrite the other one and call this thumbnails, create, save, and um, I'm going to close out of this. I do not want to save that to the original image and stop. Okay, now when we go in and go to Photoshop and go to Corpy, uh, I, I didn't quite spell that right. If I hit play, it's going to do exactly what I want. So it's going to uh, create one version of the image inside of web that's been resized to exactly the size I want. And then inside of thumbnails, we're also going to get a thumbnail of it. So this will be great if I want to put it on the web. If I don't want to put it on the web, not particularly helpful. All right, so that's if I want to do it for one image at a time. If I want to uh, batch all of the images together, uh, then hold up and you'll see how to do that inside of the next tutorial. This has been Jeremy Schuback, how to use actions in Photoshop, part of the Photoshop Expert series. If you like this tutorial, please hit subscribe, please add a comment, and please tell your friends. Thanks for joining me.